trying to avoid a job loss or trying to avoid something you think something's a big risk okay and you're trying to avoid a like a job loss or trying to avoid something from literally crashing could be a new position that you're getting which is probably shaking you up or something new responsibilities which you're not sure if you're ready to take it up but yeah <clears throat> you're lacking that willingness and determination to move forward here something's not moving forward you could be a little hesitant on moving forward with something okay and right now you have a lot of self-doubt and your biggest challenge out here is to get a direction. You're lacking a direction right now. That's what's influencing your current situation here. That's why something's not getting off ground. Because you're lacking that direction. You're probably very impulsive and reckless going all over the place. We have two cards of being reckless and impulsive. Wow, eight of wands. Okay, I see you. Something's moving forward very quickly in the near future. <clears throat> you seem to be holding on to a certain position, holding on to your money or holding on to a certain job, which gives you a lot of stability. Yeah, because you're very insecure. You're very insecure. You probably want the money without putting in the hard work or you're just overworking. You're overworking or you're just like, you know what, I just want things to fall into my lap. Yeah, see, you're losing patience. You're losing patience. There's this lack of balance here, you know. You need to practice moderation. For you, it's like either I'm all in or all out. But that's not how it works because the temperance is a gray area, you know. It's the gray area. Everything's not black and white. That's why you're holding on to this job. Maybe this is something that gives you a lot of financial security, but in your environment, it's just something that's making you feel very insecure. Again, you have that hopes, you know, of, of, of getting that financial stability, <coughs> but maybe when it comes to putting in the work, you're just not being able to have that patience. You know, you're losing that uh, patience and you just want things now. Page of Wands in reverse here. You're probably lining up losing that passion. You're lacking that vigor, lacking that mojo, that spark to make things happen. You probably have a lot of new ideas, right? But when it comes to taking that action, that's when you're not sure about which is the right way to go to. Your entire spread here, the, the reason why there are so many negative cards is because there are only blockages. The only good card I see is the Eight of Wands here in the near future, which is something that's going to progress, okay? There's going to be like quick, fast progress in the near future here, but I don't know if you are going to be able to handle it. Okay, let's start. Why is the Fool in reverse here? Why is this Fool in reverse here? Okay, Page of Pentacles. There's something that you want to pursue, but you're not ready to take a risk. You probably need to leave something stable in order for you to pursue something that you're probably passionate about or something that's just brand new, okay? Something that's very adventurous, but you're not sure. Something's... You have your doubts about something. What's the chariot in reverse? No, why is the ace of pentacles in reverse? Okay. Let's see. So the overall energy we have for you is the Fool in Reverse with the Page of Pentacles. All right. This is telling me that probably there is um, <clears throat> some potentially promising financial opportunity. Okay. But you're probably be exercising some caution. Okay. You're wanting to do some homework before you commit to anything. You know, like literally you don't want to be taken advantage of, you know. So, yeah, you're probably being a little restless right now in your current position and probably thinking of going out on your own. But you want to think before you act. Yeah, probably you're just holding back, you know, your best ideas because of lack of confidence. You're just being a little afraid to put yourself out there. 
But what I see with the page of Pentacles is that uh, this is some good news. Okay, this is something where you're wanting to put in the groundwork or you have put in the groundwork. You want to achieve some kind of goal. You're wanting to work towards a project, deciding what you want to do and going for it. Okay, whether you're self-employed or you're working for someone else, okay, or you're looking for work. Okay, but this is more like an opportunity that is available to you. But you, you want to grab it with both hands. But right now, you're probably either wanting to do more research before you jump into it okay with, with the full in reverse here <clears throat> in the past here with the king of swords in reverse here this is uh there could be either a very mature older man in your work environment okay who's a little intimidating or someone who's even bullying you could be a boss could be a very power hungry judgmental cool and aggressive colleague or a manager okay someone who's just using their intelligence and authority to try and you know just put you down or whatever if that's not, this is just you probably who's been losing their goal. Okay, and making very irrational and illogical decisions. Probably losing your head too fast here. Right now, <clears throat> we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse with the Queen of Cups here. So right now, I feel that there is a new job or a business or an opportunity okay, that's being delayed. Or it's just not falling through completely. Okay, there could be a job loss redundancy or a job offer okay that has very poor financial prospects right now okay it could also be poor planning okay or lack of action here with ace of pentacles in reverse here and this is probably <coughs> because you're probably wanting to consider a career which is more fulfilling more which is not only fulfilling you emotionally but also your material needs so probably where you are at right now maybe this is only making you happy materialistically or financially but when it comes to emotionally fulfilling you you're not happier okay you want a career that it's more suited for you probably you know which has that um uh which has the focus not only you know on the emotional well-being of yourself all right and that's what you're looking for. And probably that's why you're losing that uh, determination, okay? Or there is just a project which you're just um, not ready to take up yet, okay? Because there's a lack of planning. You probably just feel you can't just get something off ground, okay? But I feel with the Page of Pentacles <laughs> and the Ace of Pentacles, okay? You have an idea in mind which you're not wanting to take risk for, okay? But again... That idea can take off, but it's going to take a lot of work and a lot of planning, okay? And with the Queen of Cups here, whatever this project is, is probably something that's making you very happy emotionally, also along with the stability. Um, <clears throat> the biggest challenge out here, okay, or what's influencing you is the Knight of Wands in reverse here, which is that you're very unfocused right now, okay? Either you haven't found the career, or this is not the career, your current career is not the one that you really want. And you're just going mindlessly changing from job to job without any clue where you are heading to and what you want to do. Yeah. Or this is just a great business idea or a project that you have, but it's just not taken off as you expected. Okay. So you're probably a little disheartened right now. Maybe you feel it's not the right time for a new venture or something. Okay. And you may want to go back and do more work and get it up to that standard. Yeah. You've not done enough research, okay? And you're rushing ahead too fast and it's going to hit for a fault. So be very, very careful. Very, very careful about that. <clears throat> On your mind, we have the chariot in reverse with the ten of swords here. So yeah, like I said, right? <coughs> the ambition and the motivation, okay? It's, it's probably, it's, you're like literally trying to run before you walk. Okay, you're, you need to work towards your goal one step at a time. Neither once in reverse, you're rushing in too fast without doing the research. You need to be careful of not being too forceful in your approach. Yeah, because with the 10 of swords here, there are chances that, you know, there's going to be something that where you're you know, going to hit a dead end in your job, you know, or it's going to be that time in your current role, maybe ending and, you know, you're just severing ties. But yeah, you need to be very, very careful. You can't just be very, very uh, reckless, impulsive, like I said before. So be very, very careful about that. This could also be, uh, you know, you overdoing things at work, you know, at the work front and pushing yourself to the point of exhaustion and collapse. 
you're probably hitting a wall and you're, not, you're going to have to need to take care of yourself because you're going to be, be good of no one if you burn out. Yeah. So like I said, right, <coughs> don't be too forceful. Okay. In your approach, one step at a time here. Maybe you really want this new project big time. Okay. And that recklessness, that impulsiveness, night of wants energy, everything's, you know, it's like all like a big hot mess here. Yeah. What you're subconsciously trying to do is with the tower in reverse, you're right. So I think you're probably managing to hold on to your job. And there's a very, very difficult circumstance right now around you. Something's very difficult, making it very difficult for you. But you're trying your best to hold on to your job and wanting to avoid it from completely from being redundant. This is also a sign that probably you're, you're probably very successful at avoiding a job loss too. Okay. But this is definitely um, if you are avoiding something you know, that you perceive as a career disaster, you know, rather than feeling relieved, you know. But um, this probably is not really the best outcome for you if you're trying to avoid it, okay. Maybe this, the tower in reverse is you're trying to avoid something which has an inevitable end. Maybe it's time for you to leave. Maybe it's time for you to leave, you know, or get, get out of this comfort zone, okay. But you're probably going to find yourself very unhappy and dissatisfied. Yeah, because you're holding on to something which really is not going to be good for you. Sometimes being, <coughs> sorry, being out of your comfort zone, it can, it's, it can inspire us to do a lot of amazing things, okay, which we would have never attempted to do otherwise. So yeah, you're trying to stay within your comfort zone here. In the near future, we have the Eight of Wands with the Nine of Swords here. You may want to travel. Yeah. So this is, uh, you may want to travel. This is work related travel, you know, or things are just going to take off at great speed in the near future. Okay. You may, you just, just find yourself going to places in the physical sense, you know, <coughs> attending meetings, overseas conferences. Okay. Etc. But there's this sense of speed and energy, which's going to pick up. Okay. Like, so expect a very fast paced, high energy work environment in the near future. Yeah, if you're in a business, a new venture is going to probably take off much sooner than you thought it would. Okay, probably it is this new thing that you're wanting because you're impatient, right? You're probably not doing your homework. You're just in a hurry to start this off. But you're going to have to be patient, which you're not being in the near future. So that's something you want to think about. Yeah, this also signifies a lot of hastiness. So be careful not to jump into things without doing the research. Just allow situations to play out a little bit longer before you take action, okay? Because if you don't, with the Eight of Wands and the Nine of followed by the Nine of Swords, there's going to be something that's going to make you deeply unhappy in your work environment. There's going to be a lot of stress, a lot of burdens, which is going to overwhelm you. You're going to literally feel unable to cope and you're going to reach that breaking point. You know, fear and severe anxiety are going to affect your perspective and it's going to make you believe that things are worse in your career situation, okay, than they actually are in the reality. So be very careful about not being hasty, okay? There's something that you're like, now, 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 okay? <clears throat> being very uh, reckless and impulsive, okay? Not doing your research. So be super careful about that. Four of Pentacles. So I feel there's something that you're holding on to. Okay, you're, there's like a stable position that you have in your career right now. Okay, but you're probably letting you know a fear that's overcoming you. Okay, you're letting fear rule that. You you need to be careful about maintaining your position, whatever you have, right? But I think you're being paranoid and probably even isolating yourself. You're probably being very possessive, you know, not wanting to share with others your career setting, you know, which could probably take the form of being possessive about your clients, you know, a fear of something, you know, someone stealing something or unwilling to share your ideas. Okay. But you're holding back, probably holding back an idea that you're doing apart from whatever job and career you're doing. Okay. But yeah, this is like, um, this is like a valid concern. Okay in some situations but don't go overboard okay maybe there is but i don't really see anyone trying to come in their environment who's trying to do this from you this is just your own insecurities talking yeah so yeah this could also be that someone's holding back something from you could be a promotion could be a pay rise back but this is not that i feel this is just you who's being very possessive and wanting to hold on to probably um something that you deem very uh, very valuable and that could be a career idea a new project idea a business idea or just your current job okay <clears throat> 
in the near future, uh, in your environment, we do have the nine of pentacles in reverse with the eight of pentacles. So this is that your again, it could be two things. Either there is this failure because again, you want everything, but there is a lack of effort here. Okay, so you're probably expecting success without being prepared to work for it. Or you're just working too hard or putting so much effort in your career that you're just letting the rest of your life slip by you. So if you're in a business, it's an indication that you need to review your security. Yeah. Just take care of any scams, con artists, theft, property or possessions. You know, just be very careful of who you trust. Check all your contracts here. Okay. But with the eight of pentacles here, again, like I said, right, I feel you're probably putting in a lot of work here. Okay. This could be a new job that you're wanting. Probably you're wanting to start a new business here. Okay. Uh, but I think whatever you're wanting to start here, it is a good omen here. We're wanting to achieve your goals, etc. But I think you're overdoing it. You're putting in too much effort, okay? And there's a situation which is going nowhere. And all this is happening because, all this is happening because in your hopes and fears, in your emotions, you're making reckless decisions, okay? This is like this work-life imbalance. Like I said before, you want it all or nothing at job, okay? Either you're putting too much effort, okay? Putting too much focus on your work or you're just, you know, fuck it, not putting anything at all. This is like a very rush, rush energy, you know, like a rush job. That's why the entire thing is going down. That's why the entire thing is going down. And that's why with your likely outcome here, if this is how you're going to continue with the page of wands in reverse here, I feel that you have a lot of ideas, okay, about where you want to be in your career or your business, but you have no idea how to accomplish this, okay? Or you're just not putting in the work in. You're probably losing that ambition, that drive, that enthusiasm of energy. This can also indicate that something has brought your career to a standstill or is stopping you from progressing. Yeah, you may be coming across as very irresponsible as the likely outcome or even very unfocused or even very arrogant or cocky to your bosses, okay, or your colleagues or business associates, you know, which will not gain favor or help to your career advancement. So, yeah. And that's what I'm saying. <clears throat> I'm saying if I look at this again, it's too much of a rush energy, lacking direction, you know, making impulsive decisions, not doing your homework before jumping in, wanting to push things forward, you know, like a very forceful energy. Like, no, I want to push it forward even if I haven't done the homework, wanting to get things off ground, you know, before you could even go. You know, I feel you're probably even going to do that. Probably whatever you're wanting to push right now, it will move forward, okay? But it's going to lead you to a lot of stress, fear, and anxiety, okay? Because you're probably not being able to catch up. You're not going to be able to catch up. So whatever you're doing, you will need a lot of patience here. A lot of patience. That's the only thing I can see in looking at the spread. One step at a time. Baby steps. Okay? Build a block one by one. Don't try to rush in. Don't try to go from, from ground zero to the 10th floor. One to first, second, first, first, second floor, third floor. That's how you go. Okay? Step by step. Cannot rush. Rush energy is a very bad energy because you're going to land up, you know, stalling this career this progress and you know things are just not going to move forward and it's just going to come to a standstill okay only because you're going to just lose the ambition and the drive the enthusiasm because you're overdoing it yeah <clears throat> that's what i have for you can so i hope this reading resonates with you like share subscribe and leave your comments below i'd love to hear from you bye bye